What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm tag teaming with an old friend, the original Cheapy King, Chad from A Gentleman's Journey. So he put me onto this fragrance. We decided to do a collaboration review and today we're going to be talking about Perielis Portfolio for Men. You know, some of you know I'm a big advocate for the blue bottle Perielis Portfolio Elite, but did this one stack up to that? Let's find out. Stay tuned. So before I give you my thoughts on this, we're going to dive into Chad's thoughts and let him share what he thinks. I mean, it was his recommendation. Let's see what the man thinks, shall we? Ross, thank you very much. I do appreciate the invite and just being on somebody else's channel. This doesn't happen a whole lot. So Ross, thank you so very much for that, but also your friendship. So my name is Chad from The Gentleman's Journey. I've been doing this for 10 years and I have done cheapies for the most time. You know, I, I've been pretty much like the cheapy king and I stated on camera that Ross is the cheapy guy now. He took my crown, and rightfully so. Ross, no, no, no. It's not shared. You deserve it, my friend. But my thoughts on Perry Ellis Portfolio Gray, very much like this shirt, this dad shirt that I'm wearing. This really does look like a dad golf shirt. Just Ross, so I expect a few jobs my way, so please feel free, okay? But this scent is an oldie but in my opinion it's a solid scent it's an everyday man's fragrance that might resonate a little bit more so with guys our age ross is a little bit younger than me i'm 46 ross is not 40 yet i just find that someone who is older you know who has that maturity some life experience some kids would appreciate this you know because it just smells like it came out in the early 2000s it's musky it's fresh it's aromatic i do get that lavender i get the the pear the pear is nice and juicy it's a little light it's not like overly fruity but you do get it that fresh lavender of course that clean musk and i do get a bit of an herbalness to it from that basil of course you know just every day casual i think that this would be a great office fragrance for like the everyday guy out there and just like a dad figure uh, you know, I just, I can't get that out of my head. This is what a father would smell like, you know. And for like 20 bucks, you know, I think Ross got his for like $16 USD. That's tremendous bang for your buck. We don't get like $16 fragrances up here, but $16 is about $20 Canadian. And you know, I'm from Toronto. I ended up getting mine for, I think, 26 So just over $20 USD, which in my opinion is tremendous bang for your buck especially for a 100 ml longevity wasn't bad i get about six hours and that's pretty much it so guys please check out my channel again i'm chad from the gentleman's journey ross i do thank you for the invite your friendship and everything all right so that is my take of perry Ellis portfolio gray chad always a pleasure to have your dry awkward dad sense of humor man i love you you beautiful bald bastard thank you for being on the channel it's always a pleasure the original Cheapy King, what can I say? I appreciate all the kind things you've always had to say about me. I echo those sentiments, my man. But as far as this fragrance, a little indifferent about it. So it's kind of all over the place on my skin where it doesn't smell bad to me, but it doesn't like blow me away like, wow, this is such an exciting Cheapy Gem. Uh, it's one that I do get a little bit of an aquatic nuance. I get some spices. I get a green feel to it. It's a little fruity. It's... It's got a lot going on here. I'm actually wearing it as my scent of the day currently. It doesn't smell bad. Like I said, this is one that's kind of middle of the road for me where I don't know honestly how often I'm going to reach for this one. Performance uh, is kind of in that average range. I've been getting about four to five hours of longevity through all the testing that I've been doing with this one. I've been testing it on and off for about the last two weeks. Um, and it's one that I could see people getting a lot of value for if you want something that's just versatile kind of does a lot of things pretty well without doing one thing in particular very well like I don't think this is the best casual fragrance I don't think it's the best work fragrance I don't think it's the best night out fragrance but I think it will suit all three of those situations and pretty much year round it can be a very affordable signature scent that I do appreciate about it I am all for highly versatile fragrances and this definitely is because it's not too much of any one thing but again it doesn't excel too much at any one thing so i would call it kind of middle of the road i would say this one's at best better than good kind of a six out of ten type of fragrance for me projection nothing crazy spectacular about an hour 
arms reach ish type of stuff average similar to the, that type of sillage that I would equate to the type of projection it has which would be in the moderate to mild side where very faint light whiffs on occasion earlier on after the projection calms down but like I said for the most part it doesn't just constantly remind me it's on skin I do have to look for it from time to time but like I said I think you could do a whole lot worse this is not a bad fragrance by any means I just don't think it's a great fragrance it's just kind of middle of the road I do think Perry Ellis Portfolio Elite is superior to this one the blue the blue bottle uh, but I can see myself on occasion when it catches my eye maybe saying you know I haven't worn that one in a while let me give it a few sprays because like I said I do like the way it smells just doesn't blow me away uh, but thank you Chad for putting me on to it they look they can't all be mind-blowing because the last one Chad put me on to was um, Kenneth Cole Mankind Unlimited I love that one I wear that one at least once a week heck at the recording of this I wore it two nights ago I love that one, beautiful watery orange. We, you know, we did a collaboration review on his channel for that fragrance. So definitely go check out that video if you want to see more. Make sure to subscribe to Chad's channel in the tagged link down below in the top of the video description. He's one of the OGs. He deserves some attention. He's a very unique personality here in our space in the community. And uh, until next time, do me a real quick favor: go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried this? Do you agree with Chad's assessment? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you have your own assessment of this fragrance? I'd love to see what you guys think down below. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Perry Ellis Portfolio for men and you give it a spray now, who knows? You might thank Chad. You might thank me. You might not thank either one of us later. But it might be worth trying for the money. Have a good one, guys.